Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the Node.js ORM world and in these videos I'm covering Node.js with the Mongoose and like how to deal with the different collections in the MongoDB through the with the help of Mongoose library and I thought of sharing this diagram so you can correlate things which we have done in the past in the playlist where I'm covering all about all the ORM in the Node.js type ORM, Postgres, Prisma uh, Next.js, Objection, SQLize and all. Currently, I'm covering Mongoose and I'm writing the APIs and sharing examples. Just wanted to explain a little bit on this diagram. Okay, we have done Prisma recently. Next is a query builder, which is not a full fledged ORM, but it is powerful for writing queries. Type ORM we have already covered with the Next.js and with the Express. SQLize, I do have a separate playlist, separate playlist for the type ORM. Right now, we are talking about Mongoose, which is an ODM object data modeling library for storing the document, JSON document in the MongoDB. Right, so this whole playlist is a combination of all different variations. Now, let's say I wanted to build a REST APIs or maybe a GraphQL APIs. What I will do is, I will choose one of the library. Either I will, I will go vanilla SQL, I will not use any of the library. I will start writing the SQL queries and will use my SQL 2 or the Postgres PZ admin PZ library to deal with the Postgres or I will I can use a MongoDB is an NPM module which you can use to directly interact with the MongoDB. So there is a native queries available, native libraries are available where you don't need this ORM and ODM but when you are writing a big project it's better to use these ORM and ODM tools because you don't need to deal with a plain SQL, you can do a custom joins with the help of either query oriented approach like Next.js or either using object oriented approach using type ORM SQLize. Okay, so this is just a summary. We have already talked about all these things. My channel contains a lot of examples about Next.js, type ORM SQLize, Next, MongoDB and Prisma we have recently covered. This time we are targeting Mongoose. So in Mongoose, we can see okay how to store the data in different collections and how to fetch the data from different collections like this is example of populate like in the type ORM we have a relations uh, type ORM object dot find criteria and the relations and it will actually do the eager fetch of the relational entities also similarly in MongoDB we are using Mongoose library to do that and we are managing the relationship or references with the help of Mongoose. Otherwise, MongoDB doesn't have the relationship or references. It is pure, no SQL and schema-less. But we are using Mongoose to give a structure to our JSON documents because when we are writing some kind of a APIs, we always have some structure of the data. And what we want is same structure of JSON document we should be able to store. So we can add the validations, we can provide a, a structure to the entity model we are creating in the Mongoose. Okay, now what is my plan? I do already have a couple of full stack apps which are there in the type ORM, SQLize, Next, and Prisma. But for Mongoose, we can create a simple order management solution. Okay, let's say you are building a Swiggy clone, Uber Eats, or some other food vendor application. So, user can do the login, can uh, make an order, can look into the meals provided by the restaurant. This kind of application I wanted to build with the Mongoose so my viewers will be familiar how to use Mongoose with the Node.js Node to write the REST APIs okay not the REST APIs you can also try GraphQL because I'm already covering one parallel playlist which is talking about GraphQL okay and I'm already preparing the videos for our Uber Eats which is a full stack clone application we are building okay thanks for watching in the next video let's build this uh, Swiggy application only the API is part with the let's say first we will try with the express then we will jump to the next JS. Yes.